The greatest gladiator match in the history of the world. Son of Krypton versus Bat of Gotham. So obviously it's Batman versus Superman, so USA versus UK. All right? Oh, Very quick, okay? I'm so carrying the burden of my nation this on This is my it shoulders. now. No Just pressure, no pressure. Okay, so bangers and mash versus hot dogs. Which wins? Oh, Sorry, wait, bangers and mash are very difficult to eat in the <laughs> cinema. <laughs> uh, so a hot dog probably win in the cinema, mm -hmm. but bangers and mash as far as pub food goes, I'm definitely gonna order that. It's, it's a toss up depending upon where you are. I'm gonna go with um, hot dogs. Hot I'm dogs. gonna go okay, with bangers cool. and mash. So rugby, American football. Right. American football. Oh, here we go. Uh, black cabs versus yellow taxis. Black cabs every time. <laughs> black cabs are pretty cool. Uh, English tea versus Starbucks coffee. This is Starbucks coffee. Starbucks. 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 <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> is that my accent? Starbucks. Starbucks. I love it. Like, uh, yeah. London uh, hipsters. Super creepy. <laughs> uh, London hipsters or New York hipsters. Is there a difference? There is a difference, yes. What's the difference between London? Ah, they're all the same, really, aren't they? <laughs> there we are. And then finally, British royals versus American royals, Beyonce and Jay-Z, of course. Hmm. Any royals, I'm just... Uh, Kansas adore City royals. royals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What have you done? Guys, I really enjoyed the film, and I have to say, I was kind of blushing the whole way through. You both look incredible in it. Oh, very, you. very handsome. So I wanted to ask you about, you know, when you're buffing up and you become, like, huge, you're wearing all of the armor and all that sort of stuff, but when your muscles get so big, was there anything that you actually couldn't do? You know, like, when you're moving around, when you're trying to drive, trying to put your Wasn't kids in the car, and you're big. like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> um, door frames are always different. Yeah. <laughs> door frames, yeah. It just became Shrek. <laughs> no, um, no, it was, uh, it was, there was a lot of work to try to do that, but you know, they sort of, the audience kind of expects you to, to look like a superhero, and if you mm -hmm. don't, you know, they, they throw things at the screen and say you did a bad job. Well, you looked fantastic, I have to say. Um, now, it's amazing because these characters, we see them in a totally different way. They're really flawed, right. and the audience has never really seen them like that before. So that must have been incredibly interesting coming out as, as actors. Yeah, it's very interesting, too, and I thought was what I, was appealing to me about the of this version of Batman was that he was flawed. He made mistakes. He came at things maybe from the wrong perspective. He was, um, if not over the edge, right up to the edge of making you know some real serious mistakes. Mm. that are rooted in his psychological problems, and yeah. uh, that was the fun as an actor. I mean, that's what the fun stuff is to play: is the weaknesses, not the strengths. Absolutely. And do you think that Batman is jealous of Superman? Yes. I think he's threatened by Superman. And jealous. jealous. Yes. And Supreme in real jealous. life, is there a little bit of jealousy it's going on? Enormous jealousy. <laughs> enormous. Vast amount. <laughs> um, and of course, everyone is such huge fans of these characters, just such iconic characters. So did you have like your family members asking, okay, come on, what's happening? Did you obviously have to keep it secret. So were there any huge fans in your family asking, like, fill me in, fill me in, what's going on? Um, as, as much as there's no massive fans in my family, it was an absolute joy last night to have everyone look at me and say, you didn't tell us for that long that was going to happen. I was like, yeah, it was agony. <laughs> and now I'm in bliss because I can actually talk to you guys about it. Which is amazing, yeah. And I suppose watching it all back because it's just insane. There's so much happening on the screen. Which was the one scene that you were completely blown away by? You didn't think it was actually going to look like that? It was his training scene. Oh, um, yeah. yeah! That blown was away. nuts. <laughs> I love your accent. It sounds so great. It's so do cool. You? Yeah. Oh, go for it. Do another impression awesome, then. Like Irish accent. Did you? Go for it. Do another impression then. <laughs> Amazing. Um, well, look. I like it. Just say am. Am. The Daily Planet criticizing those who think they're above the laws. Oh, hypocritical. What'd you say? Considering every time your hero saves a cat out of a tree, you read a puff piece editorial about an alien. You could burn the whole place down. Most of the world doesn't share your opinion, Mr. Wayne. Maybe it's Gotham City in me. We just have a bad history with freaks dressed like clowns. 